This is so amazing and I know you, you're not gonna believe it. I can hardly believe it myself. Last week started with, on my calendar, it said, it was like still January, it said once a month grocery shopping haul and we had snow that day. And then we had snow like the day after that and then we had a little snow and then we had threat of snow and just snow in different forms. But anyway, it just meant all week I wasn't able to do this. But today, it's a thing, I'm doing it. It's 65 degrees, Travis and all the youngins are at home. I have Zion with me, and uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna load up the back, the back of this van with all the food things. So we did our first couple errands. We're getting ready now to run into Sharp Shopper. Hold up, wait a minute. Halo top, 99 cents. I'm gonna try not to hyperventilate. Okay, we're in Costco now. I'm looking at the Crock-Pot brand. I, I had two, my second one broke. It happens every once in a while, but this is seven quart is what I usually get. This one's 39. It's a nice looking one though. It's pretty fancy. Cute four tier stand. Oh, and there it is. I was gonna say, I'd like to see it out. Huh, I like that a lot. $39.99. Big beautiful thing of apples here. 10 pound bag. Get a big thing of carrots. We'll have Travis do carrot sticks. I always love this Costco deal on tomato sauce, $2.99. That price hasn't gone up in years. So for $3.99, I'm gonna get two big things of corn, and for $2.99, I'll probably get two things of green beans just for extra side dishes. So here is one cart all packed and loaded, and then another cart all packed down. We got two packs of toilet paper this time because we, um, well, we did run out during our last snows. Travis had to go round some up for us, but yeah, here we go. I know that this is a big, huge fan, six foot tall ceilings, but look, we have it about three foot full, <laughs> three foot high. That's pretty impressive. Still one more, at least one more big store to go to. So Amelia's birthday, we are also shopping for that. These are really cute. And a princess bear. She has seen these Valentine's bears and keeps talking about them. So going towards her birthday stash. Now these are pretty, of course, but I think this, yeah, this is only the six quart and every quart matters, <laughs> so 
Hamilton Beach, six quart, pretty, but still, if I can get, yeah, there's seven and a half, and then there's eight quart, hello, made just for me. So yeah, this is, this is what I'm gonna get. Look at cute little bowls. Just cute, look, it's a cute little, it's a little five quart pot. Oh, and another little cute five quart pot. So I'd shared on Instagram, I had, what was it? six or eight I had eight of these the big cups and I broke my last one finally it was that one the uh, the first four are long gone so I'm gonna replenish my cups this evening more fun pioneer woman goodies now let's just all take a moment to see how cute this is I think one of my bunches of bananas would fit in there <laughs> major stock up always need peanut butter jelly. This is what I wanted to see. They had them at Sharp Shopper. I wanted to price compare here. So it's like six sixty-four, five fourteen for some. I have a breakfast freezer meal sandwich I want to do. So you get 20. Okay. And of course just a few or 20 loaves of bread. Yes. Okay. So here's the final, the final view, the wall of groceries and many other things going down. So you can see there's lots, there's lots of headroom still. In our last van, this would have taken up the whole back. I'll step back a little bit. So yeah, lots of stuff. Okay, and we shall start with a banana box. And all as we always joke and say, mamas, you know, I can have a box of bananas, have kids totally rip through them fast, quick, and in a hurry. And then next time I get a banana box, you know, it's like, as the saying goes, pulling teeth, trying to get the bananas eaten. So we will eat a lot of bananas, and what doesn't get eaten will be saved for smoothies. Of course, if you plan to save bananas for smoothies or bread, that's the time also when your kids eat all the bananas. So these bananas were, let's see, we got 13 of them. They were $1.49. So I spent $19.37 on all of these bananas. Then we got a big thing of, actually, then I got two big things of pears. This is why I love Costco's fruit. This is six pounds. I love their fruit and their vegetables because they're just, they're mammoth. The pears, I got two bags at $7.99 each. I also got a big bag of apples, $9.99 for the 10 pound bag of apples. Huge bag of baking potatoes. Let's see, it was 15 pounds, and this is for, mainly for the kids to have baked potatoes. And the potatoes were $7.99 for 15 pounds. Okay, the big pack of mushrooms, these were $3.99. The grape tomatoes were $5.99. And then underneath, I have two packs. I thought one would be sensible, two would be extreme. So let's go for two, and let's see how quickly we can use up this romaine and the romaine was $4.49 per bag. I got a pack of English cucumbers and then I got this big bag of lemons. Let's see, these lemons are, yes, yeah, so this is a five pound bag. Now the reason I got the big thing of lemons is I have been making a yummy Trim Healthy Mama drink called Boost Juice and I've been using lemon juice in it and I was out and you'll see when I get to the Sharp Shopper stuff, I'll show you I refilled my lemon juice, but the recipe reads you can also use half of a lemon squeeze. So I thought, oh, let's do that with these lemons. So I got us a nice pack of blueberries. These were only $3.99, and then they had some lovely, nice big looking table grapes. So five pounds, so I got 10 pounds total of table grapes, and these will be gone. I mean, just in a few days, they'll be gone. $7.99 for each five pounds. Bye, honey. Have fun. Uh, then I got a big thing of carrots. This is a 10 pound bag. I thought we'd do a nice carrot stick prep. $8.99 for 10 pounds. And the avocados, they were $4.99 for this bag. Okay, and then I got two of the big Costco packs of butter, $10.99. I got two containers of heavy cream. These were $4.59 a quart. And then way under here, these great big bricks, three pounds each of cream cheese. These were $7.69 each. Okay, the feta was $7.49, and this is for a 24 ounce container. Then I got two of the tubs of sour cream. I had to 
turn my camera off for a minute to help some kids get out the door for dance and then I checked my Instagram messages and I did a lot of Insta stories yesterday when I was out doing all of this, all of these stores and doing this large family grocery shopping. And there's a question that I probably got 20 times in my messages and I get this fairly often and I thought, oh, I better, I better stop and answer this question. So I did it on Insta stories. And if you don't follow me on Instagram already, go ahead. Why aren't you doing that? Go ahead and do that because I also update every day over there, at least a picture and some Insta stories and when I'm out shopping. The question is, what do I do to keep my cold food cold when I'm out shopping like this on these big shopping days? Number one, I don't live in Georgia. I don't live, it is not like summer in Arizona here. I live in the mountains of Virginia. I have been once a month grocery shopping for over 15 years. Way back in the day, when I first started once a month grocery shopping, it was all day long, one or two stores with a lot of little kids. And in our vans, even back then, there would not have been room for all the kids, all the food, and a whole bunch of coolers. So I didn't start out even with the option to take coolers once a month grocery shopping. I was a mom with little children trying to get in a very small grocery budget, trying to get everything I needed back to my house. So I had what I needed to work with and that I could make those limited budget dollars really behave and do a lot of you know, cooking from scratch. That's how my once a month grocery shopping started. Started. Since then, we have not had a van where, again, we could have fit people and food and coolers until this past spring, whenever we got our large family Sprinter van. That van has all kinds of great room in it, and I guess I could take coolers now, but the big reason I don't is I've never needed to. So whenever we do have our few months of crazy hot summer here, Travis will come with me. While I'm shopping, he keeps the air conditioner going. He keeps the van cool. Cold items always end up together in our van. So if I've got 10 or 12 gallons of milk, all the cold milk is together. When we get home, the milk is still cold. It goes in the refrigerator. I've never had any dairy go bad. With our yogurt, it's always stacked together. Our eggs, they're just, they're stacked. Maybe all those cold items together just help keep one another cold. Plus the air is cold. It's either freezing winter or the air conditioner is going. So things keep cold. But I do talk to mamas and I see moms and I hear moms talk about how they bring a lot of coolers with them. I just haven't needed to do it. Okay, and speaking of milk, let me move. Oh, my, my cheese is fallen. See, I've been getting into, I like this fresh mozzarella snacking cheese. That is, I had snacking cheese for breakfast and Halo Top for lunch, but I am dropping my snacking cheese. Also, so we didn't get home till like 11 last night. What we did in that situation was we put away the perishable items and then non-perishable items, canned goods and stuff, sat out. Okay, okay, so I got 10 gallons of whole milk. It was 288 a gallon. Someone asked me recently in one of my other hauls why I always buy skim milk. I buy skim milk just because that's what Travis and I have always bought, but I know that the fat can also be good for growing children. I drank whole milk growing up, so I've just, for that reason, I'm like, oh, maybe we should be drinking whole milk. So I'm going back to buying whole milk for the kids. So I got 10 gallons. One is already in the refrigerator for breakfast this morning. What we'll do is in about two weeks, I'll need to do another fill and haul, and I'll probably get about another 14 gallons at that time. All of this milk is dated for February 21st. I'm filming this earlier in the month. It will be gone before the date. We usually go through a gallon a day. Anywho, so we'll probably have a few days where we just don't have milk in between this big haul and my small fill-in haul. And then my big pack of pan spray, I always love their pan spray, it was $4.99 for the pack. Those two big sour creams down there were $3.89 each. And then I also got a big tub of cottage cheese. And the cottage cheese was the same price. This big thing of Parmesan cheese was $7.99. I love it. Sometimes I can find this at Sharp Shopper for $1.99 and I'll stock up on it when I can. But we needed it. And then I got their salsa, $7.79. I'm going to do some freezer salsa chicken. And so I got that special for that for a freezer meal. Then I got some ground turmeric powder. It was $3.29. 
And then I got Parsley Flakes. Parsley was $3.99. I got this big pack of Baby Bell cheeses. This was $9.99. Honey, this is Clover Honey, five pounds. It was $11.99. I got a big thing of fine garlic powder. This was $6.49. And then I got Bob's Red Mill Organic Quick Cooking Steel Cut Oats. Not that I know what I'm doing, but I know with Trim Healthy Mama, I used the that for e-meals. This big bag was $8.99. And then this big container, this is 101.4 ounces of olive oil was $15.99. Use that in various things. I'm gonna do my garlic and lemon chicken freezer meal super quick for either slow cooker or instant pot. Anyway, um, I needed olive oil for that and some other recipes. I got a box of tomato paste because really their tomato paste isn't isn't a bad deal there. 12 pack of tomato paste was $5.99. Something I'm not seeing out for this haul is I also got the three big containers of ketchup and those were sorry my phone's ringing and I don't have an extra hand uh, those were $7.79 I always love this deal on tomato sauce and from what I can tell this is no sugar added tomato sauce so it's these big huge like 102 ounce 110 ounce cans these are only $2.99 each, so I got six of them. They will be perfect for soups and spaghetti sauce and chili and um, uh, many other amazing things. And then same thing with the applesauce. I like their big cans of applesauce. My kids will take out a can of applesauce in a day. I mean, when I open it and we have it with some meals, uh, it'll it'll just, one, one day, one of these will be gone. So these are $4.59 for a can, and I got six cans. So on my receipt, it says $27.54 for the six containers. I like to have these big cans around. Also, um, I use these more for like, I'll open a can of green beans. These are $2.99 as well. And then the corn was $3.99. So when I do the green beans, this will be a side item for two dinners. It's usually, it's not all eaten in one meal. It'll carry over for two nights. Corn, corn can be more popular. Sometimes we can take out one of these big things of corn in one meal because everybody likes corn. You know, I don't do corn all the time. So when we get it, we're like, oh, corn. Or I'll use a big can of corn whenever I do chili. And then now getting over here, I'm trying to stick with the food because I've got the food I paid for and then I paid for some household items separately. So remind me to get back to the big stack of toilet paper. Anyway, over here. Now I did buy some meat this time. Yes, we did a big grass-fed beef and chicken haul this fall and the chickens are the whole hens. So if you watch my large family meal planning and my large family meals of the week videos, you'll see uh, many times we bought 25 of those hens and I want to say I have at least 12, yeah, 12 left. So some weeks I might do two hens in the Instant Pot for soup or for a meal. One of them will be one meal or one of them will stretch a soup out quite a bit. However, when it comes to doing freezer meals, I don't want to cook the hen, peel the meat, and then put the cooked meat in the kind of freezer meals I'm doing, like for the Instant Pot and the slow cooker. If I was doing casseroles, I would use that chicken. I'm not doing casseroles this go round where I need pre-cooked chicken. Everything I'm doing is raw. That is why this go round, I bought this chicken breast at Costco. So this is 40 pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Again, these will be for freezer meal dinners that will pepper throughout over six to eight weeks. And these were $23 and 99 cents a bag. So together, they were the most expensive single item in my Costco haul. But again, so many amazingly simple, beautiful freezer meals uh, if we're in my world. And then look at this. Glory of glory. So many of you have told me that they had riced cauliflower in these big bags at Costco. And it's just been a while since I've been there to do one of these big hauls. So uh, let's see. These are five pound bags, so I got three 
of these big five pound bags because I am like a rice cauliflower machine. I love it. And the rice cauliflower was $7.59 per bag. And then my entire family loves broccoli. I probably did not get enough. Oh, and I just saw four individual steamable one pound bags. That That's... That's not good for me. I just need a big old bag of broccoli. So this is four pounds. I only got two two bags of broccoli for now. And the broccoli was $6.99 per bag. Also, I got a big bag of stir-fry vegetable blend. That is five and a half pounds. The stir-fry was $7.89 for the bag. And then I have created a lot of shrimp lovers. These are two two pound bags and I got them with the tail off already. Just thought that will be helpful because I have even little kids that like shrimp. One less thing mama has to do, peel off a tail. So I got two bags of those and they were $15.69 a bag. And then I got two of the four packs of bacon. So eight pounds of bacon total. Bacon was $13.49 per bundle. And then I got just one pack of these beef hot dogs. There's 28. You'll see in the Sharp Shopper haul, I got a couple big cans of the pork and beans. So I thought I would do like por a big can of pork and beans and a couple hot dogs chopped up in the slow cooker for some meal over the coming weeks. And I'm also in my freezer cooking do going to do a bunch of those corn dog muffins that I like to do. And then for smoothie, for our smoothie making stash, I got a bag of this tropical blend. It's mango, strawberries, and pineapple. This was a 64 ounce bag, no sugar added. And then a big bag of just the strawberries. The strawberries were $10.99 for a bag. And then the tropical blend was $9.99. All of this is the food portion of my Costco haul for feeding several adults and a whole lot of kids for many weeks to come. The food portion of the Costco haul was $681.94. I will continue to let you know. We'll, we'll tally up the totals as we go. So then the next items I got at Costco, and this was on a separate receipt, are some household items. And so I got a big tub of their washing pods. I got a big pack of bleach wipes. Now, you know, if you watch my large family mama cleaning videos, I also clean a lot with vinegar sp spray and I clean a lot with Mrs. Meyer's various cleaners. I also like to have bleach wipes on hand. I usually keep one pack under each of the bathroom sinks and they're helpful. We use them for different things and cleaning our van and all of that. So needed those in my life. And then I got a pack of, we use these kitchen size bags a lot in our bathrooms as well. So I got us a big box of those. I got four of the freezer meal bags. You all ask me if I reuse these gallon bags. I reuse gallon bags that we've used for vegetables or bread items, things that haven't had meat in them. But these are for like throw and go, quick and easy freezer meals with raw meat. So I will not, I don't reuse those bags. Then yeah, real life, two things of of Drano Costco size hello and then I have I haven't had shout in a while so I got this big refill and this spray bottle that seems to work pretty well for me as far as stain wise not that I'm a laundry expert but I do use that and then got not only one big pack of Costco toilet paper I got two because during our last snow last week we we literally like we ran out of toilet paper and Travis was able to make it out to a small little country store to save the day and they only f they only sold the four packs. So he bought the last two four packs for our family, brought them home. It's just funny. And we we have not I don't remember us in recent years and many, many years running out of toilet paper, but that was fresh enough in my mind that I thought, no, we will do two big Costco packs this go round. I got six water bottles. So, you know, watching my videos that right now, a lot of our kids have a lot of winter evening activities. I am not a super water bottle micromanager. 
I've just never taken that upon myself. But I thought, you know, with all these activities and the meals on the road we're having right now, I'm going to get everybody a water bottle. I'm going to write their initials on it. And I'm going to be Lord Dragon Mama over the water bottles. And we're going to keep these by the coffee pot. And when it's time to go to one of their evening lessons or a field trip or anything that we're doing when we leave the wilderness, they will fill their water bottle and take, them, take it with them. I don't know how this will go. I've never, I've just never taken this responsibility upon myself. Um, I usually buy a big pack of water and we keep it in the back of the van and that's how we have water when we go out. But I just thought, let's try this. This uh, household side of the haul was $156 and some change. So total for the food and the household items was $839.37. Now I like to budget wise, keep my household item budget separate. It hurts my head to buy things that aren't food and include that within our food budget. It's just from my early days of Dave Ramsey and uh, keeping my budget separate for everything. Oh, I forgot, I got a bag of bacon crumbles and I don't know how much that was offhand, somewhere between 11 and $13. <laughs> I will use those on my salad. And, uh, but anyway, that was included in the 681 total for all the food items. So anyway, 839, and now I'm going to do the Walmart haul and then the Sharp Shopper discount haul. Bread, I got nothing but bread, that's it. Over two hundred dollars in bread. <laughs> That's what it looks like, huh? So what I what 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 was I doing? What did I get? So I got five loaves of one hundred percent whole wheat bread. Um, That's all that they had. They did not know I was coming. And what I did. This is all uh, except for the Texas toast. This bread and then this wheat bread were in the $0.99 cent a loaf range. I think at Aldi I could have got $0.89 cents a loaf, but I knew I was getting the bulk of my items at Costco. So in addition to the five loaves, I got 14 loaves of wheat bread, and then I got six loaves of Texas toast, which is a lot thicker. So what am I doing? Well, in all my super mega freezer cooking, we are going to do a ton of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the freezer. We're also going to do a ton of French toast in for the freezer. And I'm going to do, I like to use Texas toast to do French toast sticks for the freezer. Having French toast in different forms is helpful. I also have some Ezekiel bread already in my freezer, and so I'm going to do Trim Healthy Mama French toast and freeze that as well. But that's what all the bread is for. And then this will also give us some loaves left to have on hand. And then I will probably get a few more loaves if, if needed, or maybe none. I, we, we'll see, watch the videos and you'll see. I also got just one pack of the Extreme Well high fiber eight tortilla wraps 100% whole wheat and flax seed and with these 16 carbs minus 11 for fiber and so I always end up doing Travis and I all kinds of different low carb wraps with these and then I bought all the English muffins Walmart had. Again, they didn't know I was coming. So I got nine packs of English muffins. I will be making many English muffin mini pizzas and I'm going to make a bunch of English muffin. It's like sausage McMuffin, but we won't call them McMuffins because that's McDonald's names. <laughs> but I bought four bags of these sausage patties and there are 20. So I have 80 sausage patties total. So I'll be doing a lot of saucin, sa saucin, yeah, another made up word, um, sausage McMuffins as one of our many on the go freezer meals. I got two big bags of cheese, a five five pound bag of mozzarella, five pound bag of Fiesta blend, three of the 60 count boxes of eggs. These are much cheaper than the eggs at Costco. $4.75 a box at Walmart and they were over $7 at Costco. So I knew I was going to Walmart. I waited to get to Walmart for that. I've never used this particular coconut soy sauce replacement. I've used the Bragg's a lot, but I read a lot about the coconut one 
in different low carb and trim healthy mama recipes. So I'm going to use that. The only sugar free syrup, I like to get the Great Value brand, but they had Mrs. Butter Butter's Worth. So I got two of those. And then I got two regular big country kitchen syrups. I got three things of almond milk, one container of cottage cheese. There's different recipes I need cottage cheese for, especially for the Trim Healthy Mama pancakes that I love so much. And I just forgot when I got into Walmart, I got a big thing of cottage cheese at Costco. But oh well, I won't have to worry about running out. I got two of the big things of peanut butter, four things of jelly. I like to have extra on hand if possible. I got one pack of, or two packs of the Stevia packets, and then one of the liquid Stevias. In one of my last grocery hauls, I bought one of the big bag of Stevias, and I was so excited because I could use it for baking. Several of you told me it had a ingredient in it. Starts with an M. It's a word about that long. <laughs> added into it which may not be the best ingredient ingredient to have added in to stevia anyway these smaller packets don't have it three packs of pepperonis a lot of these are for the english muffin pizzas and then travis likes them as a snack um i'll hold on on my household stuff here and then bean wise i've i've been on a lentil kick so i got three packs of lentils I got a big four pound bag of black beans and a big eight pound bag of pinto beans. So I spent $228 on food items. Yes, and the poor lady who was checking us out with all that bread. And then on household items. So my second slow cooker went I got an eight quart slow cooker. I've had this model a couple different times over the last 10 years or so. I've had two of them in recent years and my second one just went. It just, you know, they only last so long and I use them a lot. I love using my Instant Pot, but I love using my slow cooker if we're going to be out for a while. So like on a Sunday morning, I could put lunch for after church in the slow cooker. We'll be gone for several hours and when we get home, it's done. I still find time to use my slow cooker. And I know in one of my recent videos, I said I only used it once in January. Well, I feel like in February, I've already used my other slow cooker like three times. <laughs> So I'm cycling, cycling back through. You just, it's good to have on hand. And this one was only $29. I also got a pack of decent measuring spoons because I can never find mine. And then several of you have suggested these flexible cutting mats and even to put one of these underneath one of my larger cutting boards. So I got a pack of those. I also got two packs of napkins and a big thing of paper plates for the only uh, real life that we live here. One of the pack of napkins is already in use. And then, so tragedy, look, tragedy. So yes, it happened. I broke two of, so I got an eight Pioneer Woman mugs well over a year ago. Slowly, I slowly break them over time. Finally broke the last one the other week. So I went to get some fresh ones last night when shopping. So I picked this pattern and I had gotten four of them. Two of them made it home, two of them didn't. But I have to go out to Walmart later this week to pick up a few more things for Amelia's birthday. I did not have the mental bandwidth to also do bigger birthday shopping last night. I thought that's okay we'll hit it later this week so i will uh i'll walk these in and give them back and see if they'll give me two more or throw them in the trash and buy two more but yes here is a look again at the walmart side of things so on my non-food items side of my haul i spent 64 dollars okay this is it the sharp shopper haul and then i will do the total of what i spent for this super mega large family grocery shopping haul. Okay, okay, so I'm just gonna start with the very best part. Yes, <laughs> Halo Top for, that's right, 99 cents. They had three flavors. They had the candy bar flavor too, and actually, 
there were two more here, but now <laughs> I, I had a second one since started filming this haul because uh, it's <laughs> it's been a lot of food that I've been filming. I think I tried that once and I didn't like it. I've heard from some ladies, I, I think it's either like you love Halo Top or you don't. I love some of the flavors. I love cookie dough. I love peanut butter cup. I also love the oatmeal cookie one. I think after that, several of them I've tried have not been my favorite, although the green mint chip was good too, and I feel like there was one more that I liked. And then yogurt-wise, the best yogurt deal they had were these YoPlay Whips Greek Yogurt 100 Calories. They were three for a dollar, and they are vanilla cupcake flavor, and I got, I want to say six cases of 12. These vanilla Greek yogurts, so a four pack for only 99 cents, and these are just some that have already come out of the box. I also got us a case of this Activia. It was $2.99. It was a 12 pack. Now, it is, I realized when we got home, prune flavor, and I thought, I mean, I don't want to play tricks on my kids, but also if they don't know it's prune flavor, first off, I, I don't know that a lot of them know what prunes are. <laughs> so they started drinking them and I said, oh, I don't know. It looks like a raisin or a grape flavor. And so a couple of them tried it and said, we don't like this. Several of them have drank several of them. <laughs> so anyway, we're down to two out of the 12. So 10 of them fulfilled their destiny. I'm sure someone somewhere will drink those. So that's kind of my yogurt and smoothie haul. Always a good deal. Then these items are just like quick snacky tries. So this is uh, baked pita chips. They are roasted garlic and herb, two for a dollar. So I got four to try. And then I have had this kettle cor corn before and it is oh so good, two for a dollar. I only got four. So I was just thinking of taking, like when we go to basketball this coming weekend, we'll take some of our freezer meal sandwiches and maybe a bag of each and some fruit, some some combination. Watch, watch the Large Family Meals of the Week video and you'll see how all this food actually works. Then tomorrow, since we're gonna spend the day doing a ton of freezer cooking for the next four to six weeks, I got two packs of these. They're just the little mini cupcakes. They were only 99 cents and That'll just be a, a freezer cooking treat. And then down here, the Nutri-Grain bars were $1.49 each. You can see two bars are already out and about. The cereal bars at Aldi are a better deal. I think, well, they're 10 cents off, so they're like $1.39 a box. I like to get a case of those when I go, but because I was at Sharp Shopper, I got those there, and it's the name brand, so... I like to get name brand if it's a deal. So this is the blended Colby. This is 6.67 pounds, 2.99 a pound, 19.94, and we'll make this into cheese sticks. Then I got the big 25 pound bag of old fashioned oats for 14.19. I like to get that. Also going along with that Trim Healthy Mama Boost Juice that several kids have just, we have all been loving that. Uh, anyway, this lemon juice, it was 99 cents. Felt like that was pretty good because when I found lemon juice in some other stores, it was a few dollars per bottle. And uh, not a super expensive thing, but if I could get it for 99 cents, let's do that. So I got five of them with the rate that we've been drinking it lately. Uh, with the chocolate Cheerios, I would have wouldn't normally get chocolate Cheerios. But they were a dollar ninety nine a box, two boxes. They're already gone. I'm sure they'll, they'll be gone fast, quick, and in a hurry. I got myself a little bag of chai seeds, two eighty a pound, so it's two sixty nine, almost a pound there. I also got a bottle of liquid smoke because I am going to do short ribs in the instant pot. I got two of these chocolate fruit dips. Now I didn't get any strawberries, shoot, but I'll probably get those in my fill in haul. This, uh, we like the caramel dip, and I for a second I was concerned because it, they weren't refrigerated but then I saw where it says refrigerate after opening. So I will just keep these in the pantry. When I do the fill and haul, help me remember, we will get strawberries and the kids will just, just be out of their gourd excited when we have that. These great big boxes of the toasted cheese crackers, I mean, they were a good deal at 99 cents each. Now they're marked down two for a dollar. Again, that goes for our lunches and meals on the go. And then over here, big cans of 
pork and beans and they were a dollar 99 so that's why I got those beef hot dogs from Costco and I'll do some hot dogs and beans at some point so this total sharp shopper haul was a hundred and forty two dollars so 142 at sharp shopper I spent 228 at Walmart on the food items. I spent 681 at Costco on food items. I spent $64 at Walmart for household items. And then I spent $158 at Costco for household items. So that came to $1,273. Wow, that's a lot. And then in about two weeks or so if i'm able to i will probably take that 200 and go into aldi if i don't need too many household items i think i think we're good though we'll see how this goes so then that will put me at about fifteen hundred dollars however that includes my household items the way that i've shared in the past is i share my large family grocery budget which is just food where i will spend about a thousand dollars and then i'll do another 250 fill in haul and then i usually have a se separate 250 household budget which still brings it to about the 1500 a month so all i've done different in this video is i've included the household items within it. Are you confused? Okay, okay. Also, remember we are making well over a hundred freezer meals and many of those I will pepper throughout for two up to eight weeks. So you'll just have to keep watching my videos to see how I use all the food and see the price breakdown of the subsequent grocery hauls. So thank you so much for watching all this stuff that I got at all these stores. I'll see you real soon with another brand new video probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.